everybody welcome to my channel this is Zolchan Jasper I'm your title reader and today we're gonna find out who are you gonna be with next when are you gonna see this person and where are you gonna meet so if you can't wait to hear all this juicy information just stick around and pick the right pile for you so we have group number one with the Jinko and the Amethyst then we have group number two with the Suji and the Unknown Stone, which some of you have suggested that is called Chrysocolla, although I'm still not sure. And then in group number three, we have the White Mulberry with the Celestite. So I just want to reassure you that there is no wrong answer. Your intuition will simply guide you towards the right decision. You can focus on the crystals, focus on the card, or even you can focus on the timestamps in the info box below. If you are one of those people that are very intuitive regarding numbers uh, which is the um, technique that I always use and it always brings me to the right choice so you can do that and if you're very confused you can even just listen to both uh, I mean more than a pile and you will simply be able to uh, get mix of messages from uh, those two or three piles that you decide to listen to so I can't wait to see you there and just bear in mind that this is a general reading the form may or may not resonate with all of you or even just a portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest which is again why it's very important that you always follow your intuition take what feels right and leave the rest and try not to get too attached to the results of the reading. I'll be soon offering private readings and you'll find out all the info in the info box below but until then you can simply listen to all the timeless tarot reading that have been uploaded in the past year or so and um, since most of them really are not bound to time so you can still listen to them and they will still talk about your current situation. Okay? Can't wait to see you at the beginning of your reading guys thanks so much for choosing me as your tarot reader hi my beauties if you chose group number one with the amethyst and the jinko this is the reading for you i'm just gonna place this crystal on a side so we can start shuffling the cards in camera we're gonna use the spirit song tarot deck which by the way you can find the affiliate link in the info box below so the first thing we're gonna see is who is going to be this person you're going to be with? Which, um, in order to find out who, we basically have to describe their personality. Um, sometimes we can have a feeling as well regarding their look, but mainly it will be their personality, how will they treat you, um, their philosophies and things like that, their general energy. And then after this, we'll be able to see the when and where using some specific tarot uh, techniques as well as the charms. We even have some of charms with letters, so we'll be able to find out some of the initials of your person as well. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. Some of the cards will pop out in the verse because of the way I'm shuffling them but I really like doing so because it really helps us having double of uh, the meanings basically so instead of being 78 it's double of them which I believe is 156 yeah so that's much richer in my opinion all right so who are you gonna be with next we have this moon in reverse that popped out then let's see what else we have here we have the magician in reverse i'm gonna place this card on the side the sun in reverse okay oh my god so many cards in reverse today the Cherry in reverse, the Ace of Crystals in reverse, the Ten of Shells in reverse. I promise you guys, the cards are really well shuffled, so this is really surprising. Okay, so we'll find out why. Let me just have a look at the light, if it's too bright. Yeah, it's probably a little too bright. Now we'll go back to normal. There. So... Okay, I can see that this person doesn't have a whole lot of imagination and as well is uh, probably lacking a bit of um, feminine intuition and sensitivity um, 
regarding other people's emotions this is what i'm perceiving here it could even be a person that generally tend to be silent regarding their emotions not expressing much how they're feeling and sometimes not even realizing why they act in a certain way so they're a bit clueless sometimes as well so if you are going to be um having some troubles or if you're going to be a bit sad you will literally have to tell this person what's going on because they won't have the intuition to understand to read between the lines okay and another thing i'm seeing regarding this person is that it will do everything very slowly it might also talk about doing lots of things but in the end it might be a person that is quite stubborn regarding change and movement it's a person that really likes staying uh, in their comfort zone at home and yeah i can see that there's a very very slow energy with this chariot in reverse and it could even be a person that yeah has a lot of ideas and projects of things to do next but then in in the end it just gets sucked back into their um habits and doesn't have a whole lot of determination to keep going after their goals there there, there might be definitely a block regarding uh starting something new especially changing job or starting a new business or invest into something um yeah and they might be a bit lazy regarding manifesting their reality okay and it really comes out especially with this magician in reverse but also with these ace of crystals in reverse so um, it's a person that might have a lot of um a lot of ideas and dreams regarding the future but in the end this person believed that um at, the, at their deepest core this person believed that it won't be possible to materialize um those ideas sometimes it's just a, a matter of lacking the willpower or lacking the self-esteem um so it could be somebody that doesn't truly uh, believe in themselves too much and then yeah it could be that at the root of everything there could be some lack of energy so this person might have a slow metabolism okay so it might be associated to their diet or to their weight as well uh, this person yeah might simply not have as much energy as you would have maybe you'll be able to tell me maybe you guys are very similar but yeah it's somebody that will definitely like to go for slow walks and stay basically near their house and not going too far away and being co focused on the present rather than making too many projects for the future uh and yeah somebody that really doesn't embrace change a lot then we have this ten of shells in reverse which to me is telling that this person doesn't feel too lucky regarding love and so yeah i will definitely get more cards because it's actually very interesting as well to find out what are certain weakness of the person we are dating because sometimes we have this illusion that the that we're choosing the perfect match that doesn't have any fault uh any faulty parts but we're all human and we're all learning from each other we're all on a journey to get better and better at what we're doing and to uh, evolve spiritually as well so it's important that we are aware of these weak parts as well so that we can have a uh, compassion for the other person uh, but also realization whether these um these energy is matching yours or not so let's see other parts other aspects of your person things that you will definitely like let's see I 
I can't believe they keep coming in reverse and I've been shuffling them both ways. Transformation in reverse, the shadow in reverse. This is unbelievable. It never happened to me that I pick nine cards and the nine of them are in reverse. Like if you look, like they are in different directions. It's just crazy. Um, yeah. So transformation yeah as i said this person have a hard time mm, embracing change and transforming themselves and yeah also letting go of the past and letting go of their old skin of who they were in the past and at the same time it's a person that might have some um type of addictions uh doesn't necessarily have to be uh, drugs it could simply be um, innocent addiction like sugar addiction for example or yeah it could be food it could be sex it could be uh, just being addicted to love as well uh, to the presence of other people and I see yeah there is a bit of a lack of balance and harmony for some reason spirits really want you to know all of these aspects even though they're a bit edgy they're a bit you know not so lovely to hear but you might actually already have an understanding maybe you are already dating um, somebody with this similar characteristic and so uh, it will really help you to find out whether um, that person like if, if you're dating multiple people you will probably have an understanding now um, whether which one of those will become your partner in the near future uh, because this character characteristic you've already been meeting them in person you already had a clue um, of this person's weaknesses and you might as well not mind about them at all you might just love them for the way they are because we're reading about your next partner so it means that no matter what you will be choosing to be with this person um i feel that yeah all of these things are coming out so that we will really help you to discern who we are talking about it will really it's much more better than when they are too general then we have a page of acorn so this person might be a little bit younger than you and quite attractive as well and could be quite a curious, curious person, it could be somebody that is artistic artistic, and as well somebody that like um, doing a lot of questions to you. Eight of Shells in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, it could be somebody that is not authoritarian whatsoever, it could be somebody that is quite um, sweet and gentle and will leave you taking the charge of the situation will let you uh, taking the decisions and will always give you the last word and yeah but with this eight of shells it seems like this person has got a lot of wounds and it will be very hard uh, for this person to move on from them so it, it is definitely a difficult personality somebody that is um, probably in need of a lot of healing uh, but I'm quite confident that you'll be able to stick around them and love them anyway yeah what I was saying that just a king of shells popped up in my hand so I feel that there's going to be a lot of unconditional love here for sure Two of acorns, nine of crystals, and the six of crystals, yeah. So with these six of crystals, I feel like you guys will be going hand in hand. You will be very, very close to each other. You'll be really able to understand each other. Possibly you've been going on through the same experiences. And if you're really, really grateful to have each other in, um, in each other's life. Because you're truly, truly helping in a practical way, in an emotional way. You're always there for each other. You're going to be really, really tight. 
and uh, and you'll be able to go through some difficult uh, experiences of um for example if on a financial under a financial aspect uh if things are going to go bad you still be able to hold each other's hands and and go through that go through any troubles uh even if your house will fall apart you will still be able to uh be together this is what i'm seeing so there is not much clarity regarding the future regarding what is going to be your next step what uh where is this I mean, this is what I'm seeing, that even if you will have a huge lack of clarity regarding the future, regarding your um, home, your financial situation, uh, you will still be able to uh, be together, okay? It seems like you guys have been experiencing a lot of um, similar past experiences before you'll be able to really, really understand each other a lot. Now... Um, but yeah, I definitely see that there is a tight bond here for sure because the Six of Crystals, um, as the Six of Cups as well, is talking about a soulmate connection. So for sure, this is a really tight bond. And I'm pretty sure that all these uh, cards came out uh, showing their full desire, their weaknesses, so that you can be 100% certain that uh this will be the person because i feel that you already know this person okay um so let's see now the when okay so we're gonna mix the cards and if it comes out basically we have a technique that's a search and each suit represent days weeks months or year okay so depending on what suits will come out we'll be able to understand the timing so when are you going to meet this person or where the relationship is going to officially start in case you already know them Oop. so we have seven of the acorns this is a week seven days the acorns represent a week this is amazing okay so that's pretty quick um so yeah it could be that you guys already know them and in a week the thing is gonna be a lot more official uh or you're gonna go to a romantic date and finally speak about what this connection is or it simply could be that you are going to meet this person for the very first time uh, in a seven days. Now, let's have a look uh, about the where. So sometimes we can have an understanding with Tara regarding if it's a place near water, if it's a place in the near mountains, for example, near a lake in a building or at work in a family situation let's see what came out king of feathers okay so i need more cards but the first impression is that this could be it could be some male figure that is going to introduce you uh, it could be a father figure, um, a friend as well, or your boss. Uh, but somebody that I feel you don't have um, too close bond with. Like you have a lot of respect for sure, but it's not very warm type of connection with this person. So um, that's why I'm more inclined to say that it could be your boss or it could be somebody... Hmm. Yeah, not too close. Um, I even hear it could be like in a legal setting, like at um, yeah, like at a work dinner or something like that. But I definitely need more cards. Tree of shells. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be into a social setting. With these three of shells, it could be a, a a a little a small little gathering of friends that get together. Maybe you guys have in common 
um, some hobbies with these ASOV coins and you maybe have decided to to meet up to paint or to sing together or to meet together uh, or to think about the beginning of the next project uh, if it's work related with this king of feathers but it could even be that you guys already know this person because there is already such an important figure right here at the middle of the reading okay and as I said before, this person doesn't have a, a quite a lot of understanding of their emotions and therefore it could be looking a bit cold on the outside. So it would really make sense with this King of Feathers that it would represent them. And there would be a lot of masculine energy but doesn't necessarily have to be a man. Okay, so... It could be that you guys already know this person and in a week, as I said, things might get more official. Um, also, we have this beginning with this Ace of Acorns. So, mm, it could be that you guys are going to spend a lot of time together at somebody's wedding, for example. Some occasion where there's a lot of people having fun and because they have started something new. So, it could be that they somebody has decided to use the excuse of moving house so that you can have a little small gathering um, or somebody has started a new job but there's gonna be some uh, ceremony or some party regarding a new beginning uh, where there's going to be a lot of people and you guys are gonna be spending some time there um, or this person might actually decide to be officially asking you to be together in front of others um, with some few little friends um, in front, yeah like public public publicly such a weird word publicly yeah yeah so let's see now we did the when and where so let's see if there's any initials any little charms that can give us some extra information here it's gonna be a little loud. Okay. We have a pencil here which tells me that um, you guys might. Oh, there's also a little message in the bottle. So there's a lot of communication, a lot of texting, a lot of. Yeah, a lot of writing letters. So maybe you guys have already uh, met each other through, or going to meet each other, um, or gonna start communicating each other at first through text, and then later on uh, face to face. Okay. What else I'm seeing here? There could be a dinner. Uh, there could be well, at least a. Uh, an occasion where there's a lot of food you gonna guys you, you guys are gonna share some food together there's a K there's not many letters I can try and pick more not not today as I said this person does look a bit lazy regarding uh, going for long hikes or meeting um, I mean coming out of their comfort zone thinking about the future, thinking about the next project. Imagine, it actually came out, it was kind of reversed like that when I picked it. So it could be this lack of imagination that we've seen before. Um, Aubrey Hepburn. So this person is quite young and attractive as we saw with the page of acorn. Uh, the star, which makes me feel that it reminds me of the star card, which is the card of physical attraction again and also this the card of hopes and dreams and yeah I feel like this person might actually represent somebody that you always wanted to be with this um, hairband remind me of the world card where um, a big cycle a new cycle ends and another one begins and also reminds me about this really tight bond that you guys might have, okay? I feel that this relationship will actually last a long time. Then we have this little smile. 
So as I said before, this person have a hard time being joyful all the time. So it could be that you guys really help each other a lot. You might bring a lot of positive energy to them and yeah you might be able to lift each other and be busier to get with this little bee as well so i feel that this connection might be actually very very sweet with this bee in between as well let me see if we can get more letters so many there is an M E and L I actually know a girl called Mel so that could be a name we have B and C so you have a lot of combination there um, I'm seeing Belle now Mackenzie, it could be something like the surname, starting with M and C. Yeah, you guys have fun mixing all this combination. I'm sure that if you already have met this person, you will definitely know who this person is by now. So, oh, also, I haven't seen this before. For some reason, I completely ignored it. It's the Tourmaline, which is the card of um, removing negative toxic energies away so I really feel that this is going to be the purpose of this connection to kind of help this person moving away from the past there is a ring which again it talks to me about commitment long-lasting relationship there is a little sheep which is telling me that yes things might go quite slow um at first at least no rain no flowers which tells me how can you guys appreciate pleasure without pain this is the message behind this right so i really feel that you both have this massive awareness that uh, thanks to these painful experiences in the past and these wounds you actually are much more able to appreciate the joy of life in the small little things there is this hug me it shows a little bit of frustration because these two little dinosaurs want to hug but they can't because their arms are too short which is so cute uh, so there could be a feeling like that as well I mean, sometimes you might be at a distance and not being able to uh, be together but I feel that you guys are going to be so tight to each other this is the acorn which to me tells me that there's going to be a new beginning it, it really represents it's like the ace of acorn is the same message you guys are going to place the seed for a new tree to grow uh, so you guys are truly starting something durable there is this don't trust anyone which tells me that there's definitely a lot of walls placed up. This could be the reason why this person have a hard time opening up themselves at first. And this could be the same reason why things might go very slow. Or this person might not want to go somewhere far. If you tell them, should we go camping next week? They might be like, oh no, why don't we just stay at home and watch some movie together? Um, Yeah. But uh, this is all I'm saying. Let me know, guys, if you know anybody with these similar characteristics or if you have been dating somebody that really looks like this person. I would so love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. It would truly mean the world to me. Hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video. And um, meantime, I really wish you the best and can't wait to see you really soon. Bye-bye, guys. Big hugs to you. Hi, my lovelies. If you picked group number two with the Suji and the announced stone, this is the reading for you. I'm just going to place these crystals on the side and focus on the cards. We're going to use the Spirit Song Tarot deck, which, by the way, you can find the um, affiliate link in the info box below, which is going to help the channel a, li a little bit as well if you decide to buy it from there. I'm going to shuffle the cards in a way that reverse cards will pop up as well. But it's nothing to be scared of. I really like that they simply 
um, make the reading richer and more complicated and filled with information since instead of having the meanings of the 78 cards it's like we have double nu double numbers of the meanings which is like 156 which is so much more okay so first of all we're gonna see who are you gonna be with and to understand the who mainly we're asking characteristic of their personality of their behavior of their you can read deep into their soul basically and then after we're gonna find out when are you gonna meet this person and we're gonna try to see the where as well and at the end of the reading I will also use some of the charms to see if there's any initials that will pop out for you to have a clear understanding of who this person is and some other little charms okay so who are you gonna be with next group number two Five with shells, the hangman, two feathers in reverse, nine of crystals in reverse, the emperor pride, and the two of crystals. Okay. For some reason, I have the impression that this is somebody that has been leaving you on a limbo for some time with this hangman in reverse and the two of feathers somebody that wasn't able to take a decision for a long time uh, because they weren't able to let go of some past experiences here with these five shells they were focusing a lot more on what uh, whatever was that they lost in the past instead of focusing on the good things that the universe was showing to them right in their face in the present moment but no they weren't able to look at them they were not able to be grateful for that they were just too stuck in their pain so they might have actually have left you uh, with so many doubts and possibly you might even have felt like um, a bit disrespected because um, it could be that this person never really gave you um how do you how do you call it a closure all right it's like this person might have kept you a bit good on the side so that whenever in the future they might have finally changed their mind and come back to you you were there available for them so this is what they created like this little spider web uh in which it, they wanted to cut, cut you like a spider catch a fly and then keep you there all wrapped <laughs> in their beautiful poison so that you would just stay there until they felt hungry again okay Oof, what a clear image it came out right here it's pretty strong and with this emperor I have this feeling that this person might actually have a lot of power on you okay whatever they say you admire it you respect it uh you really put them up on a pedestal and you really allow them to take a lot of power in this connection so uh they're basically yeah i have a saying in italy i don't know if you say that it's like they have the knife on the handle right rather than on the edgy side on the sharp side so they have the situation under control uh on their own control okay which it could be a little uh unbalanced here but i have the feeling that you will understand a lot more who are we talking about because spirits here just want to really help you out understanding who this person is so we are not seeing at their best character at their best traits of their personality we're just seeing at the those specific traits of personality that will make you understand who they are because you might have already met them in the past you might have an idea you m they might be around you already in a way or even if they they're not and they will uh, pop in your life in the in the near future you will straight away understand that that is the person you're going to be with because it will remind you of this story okay 
with the two of crystals that yeah i have the feeling that this person really have been trying to juggle a lot of things at the same time and probably not doing it too well or at least it benefits them but not so much you this is the feeling i have now let's see more about this person who are you going to be with there is a two of shells that pops out whatever is shuffling which is the soulmate connection is a relationship card it talks about union harmonic union and pure love so i really feel that guys this is promising you're gonna feel loved by this person for sure you might already had some experience with them in the past you might have already been a couple in the past we don't know there's so many of you I can't go too detail, but that's what came out. Then we have five of feathers in reverse. Okay. Queen of feathers and four of feathers. I have the feeling that you guys actually already know each other. The two shells might really mean that you guys had a love story in the past. And then for some reason, it ended because of some fight that actually... Uh, create some distance between you two there could have been some uh, wrong strategy that you or the other person might have used I see strategy in both these two cards the queen of feathers and the five of feathers in reverse so it could be yeah that somebody uh, was being also very very Maybe some of you, one of you had, had used some strategies and the other person realized and therefore turned really cold and, and distant and sharp and angry as well. Uh, or simply you guys might have had some argument, especially regarding the fact that you were left on a limbo and you weren't appreciating them juggling so many things at the same time and not offering the deserved care towards you okay so you might have turned cold on them and be like this is it i'm done i'm gonna fly away and you go and take as much time as you need to figure out what what is it that you want but i'm not standing to these uh standards because i have much higher standards and this is not for me i deserve so much more okay so I feel that you guys will understand a lot more who this person is thanks to this specific situation. Let me see what else, something specific about your person again. Oops, so many cards. Five of acorns, again, we're talking about conflicts. Seven of shells, confusion. And two of acorns in reverse, the difficulty to take a decision again. Yeah. Yeah, so it's somebody that is, it is somebody that is or was quite confused and quite conflicted internally, definitely. And therefore, really unable to make a step towards you or show you what was going to happen in the future and give you not even a little bit of hope for the future. There was just complete fog, okay? So let me see where you guys are going to meet this person or where you guys met. Because this could be something that already happened or that might be happening at the beginning of your connection. So let's see the where. Sometimes Sarah's help us understand if it was near water, near mountains, in a building, in a social setting. Um, we can only be general like that. Let's see the where. Night of acorns in reverse. Six of crystals. And page of acorns in reverse. Okay. There's a lot of wands here, so it could have been in nature, okay, near wood, 
you might have took a walk in the woods. There's a little bit of snow and ice as well. It could have been winter or the, the end of winter as well since there's a bit of a shy sun coming in. And a few little grass growing and something starting to bloom on the ground as well. There's still an acorn. So yeah, it could have been winter. Six of Crystals is like you could have met as well in a setting where you guys were celebrating someone else's couple, like um a wedding for example, um, or somebody decided to Yeah, to meet Olaf to celebrate the day to celebrate an important phase of their relationship, whatever that could be. Or I feel that you guys might have just went for a really close walk next to each other and deep in nature, okay? I don't see a lot of water. There's mainly, yeah, earth and fire that I'm seeing here. Hmm. It could have been as well in a setting where you guys uh, were feeling so much passion for each other but couldn't express it because of this page of acorns and knight of acorns are in reverse. So you wanted to take an action, you wanted to take a note but you couldn't. Um, so you were just standing straight next to each other but couldn't really um, do much more than that, than holding Maybe you might have held hands or gave little kisses, but you weren't certainly not able to express how passionate you were for each other. Now that I'm reading Drive here, I know that it doesn't talk about a drive in the car, but you know how spirit sometimes is a bit funny giving you signals and signs like that, and there is discovery here as well. So it could be that you guys have want to discover, explore a new area, um, going for yeah a car trip together, uh, but very very slow. This is what I'm seeing because both of those cars are in, in reverse. Or you were supposed to to go to this trip and that eventually didn't happen so you might have arrived there late and everybody was already gone so it just remained the two of you and decided well why not let's spend the day together now and get to know each other and be grateful that at least we're not alone this is the scenario that is coming in my head right now now let's see the when we have a specific technique with tarot um, regarding the timing so each suit represent a different timing the ones represent days then the swords represent weeks the cups represent months and the pentacles represent years so we can see we are going to pick one card only and based on the suit and the number we'll be able to understand more or less when are you guys going to meet up or when this thing that already happened will turn official, okay? Oh, we have the magician in reverse. Can I have the feeling that you guys will be able to manifest the timing so it's kind of like up to you. So it could really be true that the scenario that we've been seeing at the beginning that you walked away from somebody that wasn't really respecting you that was trying to juggle too many things at the same time and that was leaving you on a limbo so now it's totally up to you the when um because you have the you have the power to call this person back and be like all right i forgive you i'm ready to start something new now okay but let's see if there's any other card for the timing. Yeah, no. You really are going to be able to um, call this person and decide when. 
you guys are meeting again because really had this feeling as especially at the beginning that you guys walked away from this person okay just for self-respect so whenever you feel like at peace again within your heart whenever you feel uh, that you miss this person that you miss being in touch with this person that you miss their skin that you um that you feel healed as well from um from whatever they did to you in the past then you can call them and and see it's really totally up to you because you got two major arcana cards in the question of the timing which is so funny so let's have a look at the charms we might have some initials for you and some other uh, little details that will give us more information it's going to be a little loud Okay, so what I see here is that there is this couple of legs that are quite stuck, so they always give me the impression that somebody wants to go somewhere but can't for some reason, they feel stuck, and then I have the feeling that this person, yeah, might feel a bit cold or act cold here with this rock. Uh, as if they were made of rock and they have no feelings whatsoever but it's not true at all because then we have this little shell that always reminds me of somebody being uh, quite vulnerable and deep and feeling exposed that could be the reason why this person might actually put up all of those barriers and um, act as if they were insensitive or um, with no emotions or feelings whatsoever but it's not true then I have this beautiful feeling that this situation is divinely um, guided because we have this symbol, the look of star and the hand as well it gives me the feeling that you guys have the world in your hand and that could re you could guys reach any wishes that you want with this look of uh, planet as well. Then we have all you need is love. So I really feel that this person can't wait to finally feel safe and embracing love. Uh, but for some reason at the moment is being a bit confused and not fully open to it. But there is this ring which talk about commitment as well. Um, so it is something that will happen because you guys you know well that this is going to be this is describing the situation of your next partner so it will come eventually at some point a moment where this person will finally decide to uh, be open to it although we've been saying that it's all a matter of you deciding when is the right time and going back to them when you feel it's the right time and they will finally be more apt for it then we have the maple which tells me that there is going to be a lot of sweetness in this connection as well and a lot of connection with nature admiration for nature lots of meals together with this fork maybe trips to Italy and you guys when you're gonna meet again or decide to uh, be together you will be starving of love this is what i'm seeing you will be so looking forward to finally be together again and then we have two m's a z and an i so those could be some of the initials or some letters in, in between the names as well that's fine too and then we have this um little pine cone which when I collected it was closed and then it opened up when it was in my charm bowl so I really associated to the transformation of somebody that was closed at first and then start opening up slowly again and this little fairy tells me that there will be a moment where you guys will find finally feel light-hearted and being able to dream again as well it's really well connected to the stars card as well 
so yeah that's all i'm seeing here guys let me know in the comments below if it has resonated with you i can't wait to hear from you and uh, let me know if you guys already have an idea of who this person could be if you already exist in your life or not and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it would truly mean the world to me hit the notification bell down below as well if you want uh, to be notified anytime that i publish a new video and yeah i can't wait to hear from you guys send you big hugs and best wishes with this connection with i now hi guys if you chose pile number three with the white mulberry and the celestite this is the reading for you so let's go ahead and shuffle the cards in camera i'm using the spirit song tarot deck which by the way you can find the affiliate link in the info box below if you're interested to get it and by doing so you will help the channel a little bit as well which is so very welcome so this reading is going to be divided in a few different questions. The main one of course is who are you going to be with next? So in order to find out we'll definitely see first of all mainly some characteristics and traits of their personality. Okay, so sometimes there could be some physical aspects coming out as well, but it's mainly from the personality they will be able to understand. In the previous piles, loads of things came out about, for example, certain uh, weakness of their personality, which I think uh, it would truly help uh, to make you understand who this person is. Uh, if you already have met them, or it will help you to recognize them in the future uh, when you're going to meet them. But that was not intentional, it just came out to be like that. So let's see what's going to happen in your pile. And then the other part is that we're going to find out the where, more or less, since the tarot sometimes can give us an indication regarding if it was a work, a place at work, or in a family situation, or in a social situation, or near water, near um, earth, it really um, mainly will give us some indications like that, or, or it could give us some specific um specific notes about um, the actual moment the actual event where you are going to meet so but it's always a surprise every time that I do it so we'll see and then we're gonna see the when okay which is very interesting but I will explain it to you when we get there okay so who are you going to be with next guys? So exciting. We have Ace of Acorns in reverse, Three of Shells in reverse, and Two of Shells in reverse. Let me get some extra card. So don't be scared when you see any of the cards in reverse. It's totally natural. I use them because it really helps us to have double of the meanings um of the cards so instead of having 78 we have 156 i believe so i find that it makes the reading much more rich then we have seven of acorns eight of acorns in reverse and the king of feathers in reverse so straight away I'm seeing that this person will definitely be very determined uh, to get to their goals, okay? Very determined to achieve their goals and to come after the person that they feel attracted to. Uh, so it will be somebody that doesn't give up easily whatsoever. Although at the same time, it is not one of those people that shine in a group uh, is not one of those people that love the attention from others is somebody that generally tend to hide away so it could be much shyer is not um, is somebody that doesn't feel comfortable being a leader doesn't feel comfortable telling others what to do and doesn't feel comfortable as uh, speaking out in public and uh, and could be also communicating uh, in general not just in public with this eight of acorns in reverse as well so it could be yeah somebody that 
um, might take a long time before I actually um, communicate to you their interests and their feelings but still they're really determined to get there so they will just find a different way if it is not through communication through direct uh, conversation messages letters it will be through something else um, so this person might eventually get quite creative and we have a lot of creativity here with these ace of acorns but I feel that this person doesn't um, is uh, doesn't have any rush to start a new beginning like a fiery passionate beginning and um, definitely this person has um, a lot of drive within themselves for sure but it doesn't really like to start um, out of nowhere um, a, a full-blown relationship with loads of fireworks okay this person tends to hold those uh, instinct those passions within them and just letting them come out gently um within time uh yeah then what we have there is so this person might have uh might have broke up with somebody recently with these two shells in reverse so i see that there that there might have been some sort of separation uh recently um it could have been as well because maybe there was a third party third party situation so the harmony of the relationship got disrupted um because of somebody else so maybe their partner has cheated on them but not necessarily uh it could simply be that the harmony just got disrupted and eventually they just felt like they uh, started being um having a friendly relationship more than a romantic one okay so that could be the reason why this person doesn't really feel like rushing straight away into a full-blown relationship um after having recently breaking up with this other partner okay um but i still see that this person has goals has a determination to um um get to the person that they like they just want to do it slowly okay and the eight way crimes doesn't necessarily mean that they're not good at communicating it could even just mean that they like doing so but slowly okay so it could be that instead of texting you every minute they would prefer texting you once per week or uh, letting some time pass so let's see what else knight of crystals in reverse the magician in reverse the empress in whoop, reverse and there's another card that went to come out and went into the floor ten of crystals in reverse so many reverse cards okay so knight of crystals is actually giving me the impression that this person is not ready at this moment to start something long lasting and enduring so it is is somebody that is yeah is not fully ready to commit to something long term as of yet um this person knows deep within themselves that they can achieve whatever they want but they will um do it whenever is the right time and although i see that for some of you this person could actually feel quite shy could be the opposite that they don't feel as attractive they might not feel as beautiful as um able to provide for others as well they might not feel like appealing um to others and that could be the reason why they actually not um then they're not really using their magical powers let's say they're not i feel that this person even if they are attractive they don't really believe so therefore they have a hard time manifesting their reality and yeah communicating their feelings to others i can see though that there is a lot of passion within them with the seven of acorns and a lot of determination but there's a lot of blocks blockages coming out as well 
and and could be yeah could be also some fear of commitment here with this ten of crystals in reverse like a fear of settling down or fear um to not be ready to have a stable relationship or a marriage or kids i can see a little bit of hesitation here let me see what else Okay, four of acorns, that's surprising, and five of crystals, so they do want stability. They might just have lost their stability at the moment with this ten of crystals, so maybe this partner that they were with, it was something that was at the core of their life, it was making them feel very confident about themselves and very secure uh, they didn't have any worries regarding the future but now that this relationship has you know um, left them alone and didn't work out so they started having loads of doubts regarding um, themselves their physical aspect their attractiveness their ability to find a stable relationship so i can see that there is a bit of lack of believing in themselves and a bit of shyness but the good thing here is that they do want stability with this four of acorns they do want to um eventually have get married or like having it doesn't necessarily have to be a actual marriage but even just a marriage of the soul you know so having celebrate celebrating a beautiful connection with somebody that is stable it represent a pillar in their own life uh the four of acorns also speak about moving in with somebody and you know four of acorns is the four pillars so it really talks about stability and creating a safe home for themselves as well with these five of crystals though there's a lot of pain a lot of loss for sure okay so definitely uh, you're going to be with somebody that is uh, freshly broken up with somebody and therefore is carrying some wounds within them because of that uh, but the good thing here is that they are definitely determined to be with you with the seven of acorns or they have goals that they want to achieve and they definitely work uh, to do that but they do it in a silent way in um yeah they're not the type of person that actually shout out loud to everybody what is going to be their plan uh, and yes, they want to start things very slowly, but uh, nevertheless, they do want some stability. So I don't think that this person is emotionally unavailable whatsoever. Also, because otherwise, uh, it wouldn't be in this reading, right? Because we're talking about somebody that will be with you. Okay, so let me see what else, if we can help you understanding who this person will be. Two of feathers, three of feathers, oh my god, yes, and ten of acorns. There is definitely a love of happiness regarding this person. Uh, you might meet them when they are going to be quite heartbroken from the past and therefore a little bit undecided regarding what direction to take in their life because uh, they just feel so burdened by whatever happened whatever has finished the 10 is always about a conclusion and with the 10 of acorns it's in the original tower you would see a person that is carrying 10 wands um 10 yeah big logs i think you would say in english um back to their home and they're just really really tired and so yeah, it, it might be that you guys are going to meet uh, when they're not in their best shape. But that doesn't mean that there is no future whatsoever. Actually, as I said, there's a lot of desire for stability here. You're just going to meet them when they are a bit lost. So let's see if there's any other 
good quality that you can find in this person that will make you fall in love with them. Nine to feathers. Actually, you will like them for, um, you will like them for not being overly uh, chatty or overly overly straightforward or too fiery. And you will definitely like this mysterious aspect of them. They're definitely are gonna be a uh, looking mysterious. It's like you really would like to kind of study them, analyze them and trying to figure out what's in their mind because they don't share too much but it's it's an aspect that you would like and you guys might also have some funny debates regarding spirituality, intuition and uh, everything esoteric as um, as if they would be a little close up to it um, and you would be the opposite possibly um, but I feel that you will like this because possibly you're one of those people that doesn't want to date somebody that is totally the exact same copy of them so um, you will actually feel inspired by this and yeah I think you will really really appreciate the fact that this person doesn't really um, dwell too much on their thoughts and on their worries and it feels like life it's a lot easier and simple with them and they really it's like you can give them your ball of wool bitten by a cat full of worries you can give it to them and they're just gonna melt it down for you so i feel that that's gonna be um a characteristic a trait that you will like in them a lot and if they're going to be a very intuitive person they won't show it much so it's like one of those really wise people that are simply not um cocky about it so they will just hold all their wisdom in and you will simply be able to understand by looking at them in their eyes that they've understood the whole situation um yeah it seems like they're not very they're not a too talkative type of uh, person, for sure. Let's see what else. Follow records. Eight of Feathers and the Queen of Shells. Yeah, again, yeah, there could be some. There could be some conflict, internal conflicts within them at first. They will feel as if they are trapped in the past and it's like they can't see a way out but then you come in with all of your beautiful unconditional love and openness and motherly instinct as well and all of your femininity all of your um divine energy and you're just gonna make them feel finally as if they can see a way out okay because they definitely see that you're gonna meet them in a phase where they're not in the best shape as i said before yeah it could even be that at first you guys are gonna have little arguments um about this as if Ooh, the door is knocking Sorry guys, somebody knocked at the door, so I was just going to say that it could even be that at first when you meet, you guys are not going to be on the same wavelength, um, you could have little disputes, uh, little arguments, it could even be that at first it seems like they're coming on to you and then they step back a lot and you just get really confused and, uh, but then I feel that your unconditional love and your, uh, 
beauty as well like not just exterior but interior uh, will definitely melt all of their fears away so that's that's what I'm seeing regarding um, how you might possibly meet up but definitely you will recognize this person because definitely they will have a massive heartbreak on their past uh, quite recent as well and that will make them quite shy not very easy to talk with you at first and yeah a bit scared not very attractive they will f at least that's what they will think about themselves it's like this um, this breakup probably is has ruined their confidence at first but then I feel that things will actually change with you because as I said there's a, a huge need for stability here and the beautiful thing of love is that it always transforms the other person into their best version of themselves isn't it so let's see now about the where if we can find any useful information about the where where are you going are you guys going to meet unless you already have met each other so there is a nine of crystals in reverse chariot in reverse and the tree of acorns upright okay so for some reason yeah i have this feeling that you guys are going to be in a situation where some of you is in need of help it is a lacking of some tools specific tools to um finish some sort of operation for some reason i have this picture of uh, one of you being having their car broken down in the middle of the road and not being able to fix it and therefore in need of somebody else because i'm seeing here with this chair it is like something is not progressing something is not moving so it really gives me this impression of uh, a car or a bus or some um a bicycle being broken down and the need of some tools and not having them because with this nano crystal there is lack of security and lack of abundance as well and so it's like and then you, you can see finally hope you can finally see the destination thanks to this person that is coming on to help you and you can yeah finally yeah being able to redirect your path and keep keep going where is it that you are going let's see if there's anything else coming photo shells yeah beautiful so you're definitely going to meet each other in a situation where one of you is totally um with no hope whatsoever uh, to be happy again or to fix their situation if it's like if it's regarding this car broken breaking down for example but it could be even just an emotional an emotional type of um, situation where some of you one of you is really feeling like i'm never gonna feel happy again or i'm never gonna be back on the road again to go back to my place to go back home um so it could be metaphorically or physically talking but i definitely see that one of you will feel totally hopeless and the other one will definitely uh, show the way and bring a lot of hope uh, regarding a new beginning so this person could be them and you could be the one bringing hope and helping out or the opposite so this is what i'm seeing now let's see regarding the when so if we find the suit regarding if we find the sword suit it will be talking about weeks if we found the cup suit it will be talking about months and if it's the pentacle one it will be talking about years and if we find the wands one it will be talking about days so let's see and if we find a card that is doesn't have any number on it it could be that you guys already have met each other okay so let's 
so approximately let's see when you guys are going to meet unless you already know each other the world okay it's not there is no suit in the world because it is a major arcana so it could be that you guys are already part of each other's world and again the world has been underlying the same situation of a cycle needing to end in order for a new one to begin so you're definitely going to meet each other when uh, the other person world or your world seems to be breaking apart falling apart and everything is going to end it seems like you really one of you really need to let go of the past so you're definitely gonna meet each other at a very meaningful meaningful important moment of your life then we have this nine of shells so we're talking about nine months okay but since it's in reverse it gives me the impression that this could be like you guys have met each other nine months ago Tell me guys if this made any sense to you. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Meantime, I have a bowl of charms that we can have a look just to dig in and see if there's any other details that we can find about this person or this situation. And especially if there's any letter that will remind you of their name, which could be initials or a letter. Um, just a few letters in between. We'll find that. have a J so it could be something like Joe D E I DJ comes to me so you guys will be able to find combination with these letters Jude could be as well Jedi don't know if it exists that name actually but yeah it could be simply even just the initial of their name or their surname then we have Ireland so you guys could have could be in Ireland or could have met in Ireland or could have have some sort of connection with special connection with arps or music in general There is a full moon so you guys might have an important moment together during the full moon and look up so there's definitely gonna be a um, sky full of stars with the full moon and it's definitely gonna represent an important moment for you guys where you will feel on top of the world it could be that you guys are actually going to travel together in Ireland since we have the world and the symbol of Ireland it could be that you met in the past nine months ago when you were in Ireland and there is the Pisces so this person might be a Pisces as well or any other type of water sign or having a lot of water in their birth chart yeah then we have this little pencil which doesn't have the tip here so it, in a way it kind of tells me that there would be the wish to communicate to write to each other to text but then there is the impossibility uh, of doing so and we saw that before with the eight of um ones in reverse mm, yeah so it could be like a broken message that come in half and the other one uh, doesn't reach or it could be that this person is sending you a message but they were actually supposed to send it to somebody else and then that's how I started the whole communication with you yeah it could even be you know in that situation before where some of you needed help it could be that some of you needed actually a pencil or a pen something to write because they couldn't um you know um yeah just fill up a form an important form or something like that and you were just there helping them out 
yeah so that's all I'm seeing here guys I really hope that this has helped you let me know in the comments below if it has resonated with you if you feel like you already know this up uh, this person if it's already in your life and uh, yeah if you enjoy this content don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it would truly mean the world and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video and I can't wait to see you very soon in the next video. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. It's such a honor. Bye-bye, guys. Sending you big hugs.